Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the Ruslan G channel. My name is Ruslan G and welcome to the channel. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about timing the market. Is it possible? Should you try? What are the risks and what are the rewards? So hopefully you enjoyed this one as much as I had fun putting it together. And without further ado, let's jump right into this one. All right, so first, I wanted to give a quick disclaimer about this video because I'm just a guy on YouTube, just like a lot of these investment gurus that are on YouTube. We are not financial advisors. I am not a financial advisor. All I do is share with you my experiences, my knowledge, and what I've actually gone through and even seen in the markets that have happened. So all I'm doing is relaying that to you over my years of experience and pretty much from everything that I've seen. So that is what I wanted to start off with this video by is just giving you a quick disclaimer that this is not investment advice. This is again, just for educational purposes and for you to take into account that I'm just a YouTuber and not a financial advisor. Let's talk about should you and can you time the market? So first, can you time the market? And in my experience, I have both timed the market before and I have also missed out huge by trying to time the market. And that is very common. Not every investor is gonna jump onto the opportunity very, very early on and make a huge profit and cash out at the very top, right? They say buy low and sell high. That's great in theory, but what I like a lot better is to buy over time as things go up, as things go down, because then you dollar cost average in and then you hold for the long term. Now, is it possible? Well, sure, of course, you can look at the graphs, look at the price action, the volumes, the market cap, the industry average. You can look at all of these things, the PE ratio. You can look at all these things and try to say, okay, well, it's undervalued here. It's making more revenue than it did before, right? That's a great way to found value stocks. And if you want me to do a video on it, I might have already done one, but go check out this video, the video where I talk about the 500% gains that I've done very, very recently in a very short period of time. So these are the companies that, in my opinion, I was able to time the market in some sort of way. If you watch that video, I mentioned Tesla, and Tesla is one of those companies that it was so volatile that people got in at the highs and sold at the lows. Luckily, I actually got in low, but I didn't sell at the very peak. I only sold somewhere in the middle, and that can happen quite a bit when you try to do this method. So that leads me into risks. The very first risk that can happen is that you might try to catch a falling knife, right? So if you think, okay, well, I'm gonna buy low, right? And this thing is dropping, 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 whatever it might be, X, Y, Z, A, B, C, whatever it is, it's dropping the stock price is dropping and you say, okay, now it's low enough. You buy in. And then what can happen is it can plummet another 50% or 60% or 80%. And what might happen is you might find yourself in a trap called trying to catch a falling knife. You wouldn't try that in the kitchen. So why would you try it with your portfolio, right? So in my opinion, if you're looking to make this kind of decision, buy over time, also look for an opportunity where it levels off. What I've recently started doing more often is I'll wait for the price to start trickling up, but beware because sometimes what can happen is if it's trending down, it, you might be caught in a bull trap, which it looks like it's going up, but then it immediately crashes another 50%. That is why it's important to buy over time and you can avoid the falling knife risk. And the second risk, it actually has to do with selling the stock. So I fell into this trap where I sold before the boom, but I'm gonna tell you a story that I experienced with a little company called Amazon, where I bought and made money and fell into this exact trap of selling before the boom. But before I do, I want you to know that it's okay. If that happens to you or if it's happened to you, don't get beat up about it. How can I do this? How can I be so stupid? At least you made a profit, and as long as you reinvest those earnings back into the market, you'll be okay. And even more so, especially if you learn this lesson and walk away with it today. Do it! Because then you won't make this mistake ever again. And that leads me into my story about Amazon, so let's get into that. So with Amazon, what actually happened to me is this was three or four years ago when Amazon was trading about two to $300 a share. And of course, if you know the story of Amazon stock price, it skyrocketed and now is sitting around $3,200 a share. So that is about a 10X profit. Oh my God, wow. If I held on and what I did is I knew that there was an undervalued play opportunity. So I bought, I think it was a share or two, something like that, at 250 or 300 bucks a share, and it went up 80 or 90%, and I decided to sell. 
Now, little did I know this company was about to have the biggest run ever in its life cycle. So it went from where I bought it to a 10, almost a 12X, and now Amazon sits at $3,300, and that was my mistake. Luckily, I didn't cry about it, I didn't get sad and frustrated, I took that money, and I put it back in the market, put it back to work, so I invested in Tesla, I invested in Square, I invested in companies that I believed in the long term. Now, what I did miss out was a 10X from my initial investment of $250. This is why you shouldn't try to time the market, and this is why you should remember to have time in the market. So that's my last lesson. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And like I said, if you haven't seen this video, it's gonna be on one of these sides where I talk about the companies that return 500% or more on my initial investment. That is a great watch. And I hope you learned something new from this video. And if you did hit that like button, let me know if you made a similar mistake. And again, it's not really a mistake. I still walked away winner. Some people lose all their money investing in the market. So it's not necessarily a mistake. The only thing that I could have done better is just remember to hold on. On, especially with these tech stocks that are getting to absurd levels as far as valuations go. You know, the P ratios of some companies are a thousand plus, which you do not see in any other industry besides tech currently. So I hope you don't make the same mistake as I did, and I hope you hold on to the long term. Again, I'm not a financial advisor, but what I am gonna tell you is that if you follow along, you're gonna learn a lot of life lessons that I had to go through and a lot of things that I had to learn on my own, and now I'm gonna be able to share them with you. So if this is your first time to the channel and you you haven't hit subscribe yet go do that do it so that way you can be notified as soon as i post my next video and without further ado hope you guys have a wonderful wonderful rest of your day and i'll see y'all in the next one peace out